Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today we are going to take on a sandwich of regional history, specifically New Jersey, and it's the New Jersey Sloppy Joe. Now, just brace yourself. This is not like a regular Sloppy Joe in any way. First thing we got to do is make some coleslaw. So to some shredded cabbage, we add sugar, vinegar, salt, and pepper. Next, we have to make a Russian dressing. Mayonnaise, chili sauce, hot sauce, using Tabasco, relish, onion powder, all of it, and salt. Get that all mixed together. Now onto buttered rye bread, we lay one meat. Uh, I'm going with turkey. And coleslaw, then our Russian dressing. Now we do the same thing with a different kind of meat, and I'm using pastrami. Coleslaw, Russian dressing, and we put one on top of the other, and close it off with a piece of buttered rye bread. Almost forgot Swiss cheese on both layers. Now, if you know me, you know I prefer cutting my uh, sandwiches on the diagonal, but this is usually cut in quarters. So to keep in that spirit, even though my bread is smaller than what they use, uh, I cut it in half. So there's a little squares. Okay, let's give this New Jersey Sloppy Joe a go. That's pretty tasty. So you've got the sweetness from that slaw, tanginess from the Russian dressing, richness and nuttiness of the Swiss cheese, and then pastrami and turkey. This is tasty and definitely sloppy. Yeah, I'm not gonna plus this up. This is uh, delicious. The New Jersey Sloppy Joe definitely lives up to its name of being sloppy, um, but it is delicious. I get, you get caraway seed in the rye bread, that nice nuttiness from the Swiss cheese, of course, pastrami, you know what that tastes like, and it's delicious in turkey. Uh, freshness and tanginess and a little sweetness from the slaw, a little tanginess and uh, richness from the Russian dressing. Fantastic. I'm gonna give this a nine and a half. Uh, the only reason I'm not giving it a 10 is because I think it would be better if we made it with toast. But I don't want to toast it after I've made the sandwich because it already has the cabbage on there and the Russian dressing and stuff. But if, if this was made using toast, that'd be a 10. Absolute home run. I'm definitely going to finish that eventually. I mean, it, it's a big sandwich, so yeah. And I would make this again anytime. I'd eat this anytime. This is fantastic. All right, see you tomorrow. And with the leftover crust, just made up some rye fries. Just basically toasted them in the oven.